Halloween is almost here. I wanted to do another spooky type of video, you know, another spiritual type of video. So, we had a visitor once. I'm not going to say who it was. It was somebody's um, ex-boyfriend. Um, they had visited us for something, for a specific reason. And um, I don't think we had let him in our house before. Like, we didn't really know him all that well, but you know we let him in this time because of... I'm not going to get into all that, but anyway. We let him in here, and um, he left. And it's like, when he left, I felt... Like, I didn't think anything of it, you know? Like, you know, I know I can feel spirits. My husband can feel spirits. Sometimes we know when something is not right in our home. We know when things are different, things are off, and somebody's been here, shouldn't been here, or somebody's trying to attack our home, you know what I mean? We know when that's starting to happen. So there was one day, my husband was not home, he was at work, I think, and I was, I was at my computer, I was doing something, whatever I was doing. I believe I was watching a video, or I was doing something, I was doing something on my computer, basically. So, you know, I'm just sitting there, and all of a sudden I, I feel something, or I think I hear something in the back of my mind, or like, not back of my mind, but like behind me. Like I feel, you know how you, you think you hear like a soft whisper, like somebody's trying to tell you something, somebody's trying to communicate with you? So I heard that, and I was like, okay. There was nobody behind me, mind you. My kids were in the room, in their room, was doing their own thing. Um, they weren't out near me, nobody was around me. I don't know, maybe they were watching TV. But, um, I felt something. I heard something, like a little something in my ear. And I kind of heard something behind me, and I'm like, what the fuck? Okay, that's kind of strange. So, I took my headphones off, because it didn't feel right, whatever it was. I, I it, didn't, it really didn't feel right. I took my headphones off, and I remember I was sitting there, just looking behind me, and, Okay, nothing. So I go back to do what I was doing. And um, I was looking on the computer screen doing something and y'all, I swear. You know how um, you look at a computer screen and you can kind of see behind you like a reflection. You see, you kind of see yourself and you can also see what's behind you. Y'all, I swear, I saw a presence. I saw a presence behind me. Like, like a black um, figure, I guess. I saw something trying to creep up and grab me on my shoulder. I saw something like coming towards me. And I was like, whoa, yo, I jumped so far. I jumped a mile. <laughs> I jumped so far. I was like, whoa, what was that? That shit was so crazy. I was like, okay, I know I'm not feeling things. I know something was just trying to grab me. Someone was literally trying to grab me from the back. But there was nobody in the room. from that guy. It had come from him. <laughs> and, <laughs> y'all, it's, it's, it's interesting because I've never had that happen. But you know, after I sat there for about five minutes, I wasn't even scared anymore. I legit wasn't scared. I sat there and I was just like, <sighs> I looked around and I said, whoever doesn't belong in this house, you need to what? And go. You don't belong here, wherever the hell you are, you get out. And that's literally what I said. And ever since then, I haven't felt that presence again. I told that spirit to get the fuck out of my house. Because it didn't belong here. It didn't belong. It's just as simple as that. People make spirituality seem so devious. and Not devious, that's not the right word. People make spirituality seem so complicated. You know, like dealing with spirits is just so damn complicated. Like you gotta, you gotta do this, and you gotta light a candle, and you gotta just, you gotta really fucking do an exorcism. <laughs> you know, it's not that, it's not that serious. All you have to do is just tell it to go. No spirit has power over you unless you let it. Remember that. And this ain't no Christianity bullshit. This is just real life bullshit. You know. If you ever feel a presence, 
a room behind you, anywhere near you, that you don't want there, you can tell it to go. Just command it and it's gone. If you believe you have the power to cast it out, it'll be gone. Like I swear, it'll be gone in the, in the quickness. I think there was another similar situation where I told something to go and it actually left. I don't fully remember the details of it, but this is the one I remember the details. Like I said, we had a new person in our house and um, it was just for a little while. He was there for a little while and then he left. And um, like I said, I felt the presence behind me and I saw a reflection of something coming towards me through my computer screen. Like I said, I jumped. I had never jumped so far. And I was like, what the fuck? Okay, something don't belong here. And I told his ass to take a hike. You know, it did. It never came back. We never had any issues like that. When my husband came back home, I told him what had happened. He was like, wow, really? <laughs> yep, that's exactly what happened. So, like I said, I wasn't scared anymore. You know, it really, really takes a strong person to really think about the situation at hand. If you ever feel a spirit around you that you don't want there, all you have to do is tell it to go. It has no power over you. That spirit cannot make you do anything you don't want it to do. And that's what media doesn't want to tell you. That's what the masses don't want to tell you. That's what they want to tell you in these scary movies when they show you, you know, these paranormal horror flicks where people get possessed and people feel stuff around them. They just sit there and be like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just sit there and they take everything. You don't have to take everything. Me and does not tell you that you don't want, that you have power over anything around you. Okay? So yeah, that's the story on that. That's the story on when I first encountered um, a spirit. Like, I saw that one behind me. That was the first time I actually saw something. You know what I mean? Ever since then, it's been good, yo. And anytime anybody comes in this house, we don't really let nobody hear as it is. We don't have any visitors like that anyway, so it's like... But when we, when we do, and if we do, we always make sure there are no bad spirits around. And if we feel them, gone. We don't even have to burn sage to get them gone. We burn sage on a regular anyway. But we don't have to burn sage in order to get rid of the spirit. All you gotta do is just say, gone. You don't belong here. That's it. It's just like telling the actual person to leave. This ain't no spiritual, mystical voodoo shit. It's just get the fuck out of my house. So yeah, that's the story. That's my little story time yet again. And um, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you work on taking power over who's in your life, what spirits are around your life, what spirits are trying to corrupt you. I hope you figure out how to take power over them because it helps. It really does help once you realize you have that power. It helps. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to like. I'm looking for a lot of likes on this video. Don't forget. I hope you all have a happy Halloween if you celebrate, if you care, all that other good stuff. Let me know if you've had any experiences quite like this one. Write it down in the comment box. Again, make sure you subscribe and share. Turn on your post notifications because you never know when I'll be uploading. I don't have a specific schedule right now. I'm just doing what I can when I can when my kids are out of my way so make sure you turn on those post notifications click that bell so you'll know when I post all right guys I think that's it um yeah I hope you enjoyed this video hope you have a great day month hour second minute day week and all that jazz thank you for watching peace out